Hey people, what's going on? What's going on this evening? Got a good one coming up. Of course, I always say they're good ones. Whether they are or not, I guess, depends on your point of view. Because it's usually about Cyrax. I don't know if that's good or bad. But we'll see. We'll see what everyone thinks of this. Let's see. There I am. Wait, what the hell's on my head there? What is on my head? Jesus, I'm all out of whack. What is on my head? My goodness. Okay, okay. <laughs> Enough with the silly stuff. Tell you what, though, KFC. Don't know if you read KFC. Every Tuesday, 10 pieces for 8 bucks. Just the chicken. You don't get the mashed potatoes or anything, just the chicken. Ten pieces, eight bucks, man. That's a great deal if you ask me. Yeah, every Tuesday. They usually run that on Tuesdays. I don't know if it's a local thing. Maybe maybe in your area it isn't. But usually I'll grab that on Tuesday and eat it Tuesday to Wednesday. <laughs> you know. But anyways, regardless. Hey, what's Chris Chan doing up there? What the hell is Christian doing up there? Oh my god. Oh, now I remember. This video today, it kind of, Christian kind of ties in it a little. It's not con exactly about him. It's kind of more about our boy, the little goblinator. But yeah, Chris, Chris fits in it a little. So I threw up, oh jeez. So I thought I would throw him up there for a little bit of Moral support. We're going to need that. We're going to need some moral support here. Yeah. So here we go. What we got here today, I don't know, some of you may have seen this. If you remember the movie, I guess it came out about a year ago. It was called Megan. And it was about, um, I've never seen the movie. I've seen a lot of previews and clips of it. Apparently it's about some um, some people develop this robotic doll that's a female child. It's about, I don't know, 10, 12 years old in appearance. And I think they assigned the doll to protect some little girl that's getting bullied. I've read up on this before and now I'm kind of losing track here. But I guess the doll goes overboard and starts killing uh, people, you know, that it perceives as bullying the kid. I don't know. I've never seen the movie. Like I said, you know, if you're into horror movies, I guess it's good. I kind of really got burned out on all those horror movies back in the 80s and early 90s. It's like every other week there was a new Jason or Friday the 13th or Halloween movie. It just got old after a while, you know. Sometimes they ruin a good thing. But yeah, anyways, getting back to Megan. Hi, Megan. If you're watching this, hi, Megan. I actually have a niece named Megan. Megan, if you're watching this, hi. Your uncle's on the internet making fool of himself. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, Megan. They made a doll of this, and I don't mean a little doll. I mean a life-size version of this doll. Life-size, as you can see here. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it looks, the, for what it is, I guess it looks okay. It's uh, four feet tall, I think it says. Is that what that says there? Having a hard time scrolling on down any further than that. Four feet tall, yeah. Four feet tall. I price five hundred bucks plus tax, shipping and handling, probably some sort of insurance fee too. 
She wouldn't want Megan to get hurt during delivery. Hey, what did I do here? Let's see if I could get some close-ups of Megan. There. Megan. Megan. Mom used to... Uh, never mind. My mom used to yell at my little niece, Megan. When she was a little girl, she's grown up now. And she'd get mad at her. Megan! <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah, you be the judge. I don't know. I mean, I guess if... I don't know. Um, there's a lot of... It's probably about 10 or 12 different videos on YouTube with people reviewing these that have either bought them or have shown interest in it. And it's kind of an odd thing. You know, I can't... I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of crossed on that. You know, why would a grown man want to spend 500 bucks on this? But then again, you know, some of these guys I've seen on YouTube doing reviews of it, you look in their room, and it's like in back of them is all sorts of uh, horror movie-related stuff, you know, souvenirs like statues of Freddy, of Jason, of Michael Myers, of Chucky, you know. So that kind of, to me, that kind of says, well, if I see a person collecting all that stuff and then they buy this, you know, it's kind of odd. But then again, I don't think it's from a Cyrax type odd. But, you know, a uh, if I was to go in someone's house and this was all they had, they didn't have anything else movie related never showed any interest in horror films, you know, that, that kind of would set off a red flag right there. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm getting at. Basically, what I'm saying is, you know, there's guys that's buying this thing. To, I don't want to use that word, you know, the F-bomb. So, because, you know, I, I don't know, not that I'm trying to come off as holier than thou. I'm just trying to be presentable. But, you know, there's guys that would bang it. There are guys out there that would buy that thing that would hand over 500 bucks and bang it because they look at it as a little girl. And no, I'm not one of them. Don't even say that. You can say it as a joke. I take a joke. But, no, I'm seriously. I would not want this stupid thing in my house. I would not spend $500 for it. And I definitely wouldn't bang any doll. That's just weird. But our boy up here, Chris Chan, getting back to old Chris Chan. You know how he got started, how it all began with a young lady, very attractive young lady, I must add. I've only seen a few pictures of her, but a young lady named Megan Schroeder. I believe that's her last name. Only reason I'm giving her name is it's out there. It's been out there for decades, for years. She's got on a cool Kiss t-shirt here. Nice looking young lady. I mean, this picture was taken probably, what, 10, 15 years ago, I guess. But maybe longer. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, Chris Chan, Megan, <laughs> Christian, he, he collects odd stuff anyway, as can be seen in this picture here. That boy, he collects some weird shit. <laughs> I know. But, uh, yeah. He collects some weird shit. He sees this doll and sees its name Megan. He's going to get one. And he's going to finally get him a piece of Megan. He is finally going to get that girl. He might put a dark wig on it. He might put a dark wig on it to match her hair. Put that Kiss t-shirt on it. He'll get him an old Kiss t-shirt and put on it. i got one right here in fact, man. Love this shirt. I'm planning on doing something special with it. Yes, man. Check it out, check it out. Kiss, I was there. 
and it lists all the dates they played in my city. Yeah, it just goes on and on. Kiss. Yeah, you wanted the best, you got the best. But anyways, I digress, man. I digress, I digress. <laughs> he will get that thing. You, we, just wait. If he ever makes a true comeback to the internet, we will see him with that thing in his room. And he will be boinking the hell out of that. Barb won't have to worry anymore. Barb, you're going to be safe now. As this guy here, he's found him something else, some other true love. If you don't think Chris Chan would screw a doll... If you don't think he would, you just watch this video here. You watch this video for a few minutes. Is it playing? No, it's not playing. Well, God Almighty, David. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. Okay, okay. Now, okay, so Jackie if you don't Jackie think he here. would screw a doll, watch this. Top of our car. Just, we just enjoy some apple dippers and happy meal. And even better, my professor here said, send me some of the apples. And I agreed that. Yes, it was very enjoyable. It was very good. Mm. So, Jackie Pie, what you want to do now? I think we make out. I'm going to see where he goes from there. Alright. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. He's in a McDonald's parking lot, people. <laughs> people. There's children around. There are children around. Does that freak even have on pants? Does that freak even have on pants, man? There are children around. You're at a McDonald's. Jesus Christ. Jesus tap dancing Christ, man. I hate to bring our Lord and Savior into this, but Jesus Christ. They let this fucker out. They let him go. People don't understand the legal system. They don't understand the legal system. This little mongrel. <laughs> we know what he did to his mom. We know. We know what he did to his mom. It's, it's without a doubt, you know. We know what he did. And they let him go. People don't get it. They'll say, well, he was in jail. No. He was locked up in some county jail somewhere. Probably got special treatment because he's a guard, a you know, protected class. Because he's goofy, autistic, you know. And they let him go. They never. He was never tried. I'm I'm putting on my damn KFC hat, and I don't care. I don't care, people. God damn it! I can't be any crazier than that. I can't be. They put him on trial. No, I mean, they never put him on trial. That's the thing. He might have been locked up for two years, but he was never put on trial. He was never found guilty. He was just, they just held him for a while like, well, what the hell do we do now? What do we do with this guy? They never put him on trial. They just eventually said, well, you can go. Bye. <laughs> He's a free man. If you look up his record... It's not on there. Oh, Lord. I'm getting too excited about this. Someone texted me. God dang it. You don't get a text all day long until you're doing something important. Wait, I read this already. Yeah, I read this already. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm not the crazy one. He is. People like that. 
That's the crazy one. What would you think? Put it this way. If you pull in a McDonald's parking lot and you see a guy making out with a stuff, well, with some sort of blow up doll, intensely making out with it, and then you see a guy walking around with a KFC bucket on his head, which one would you think is more loony? Which one's the crazy guy? Oh, Jesus. Crazy, crazy. You know Christian would bang that Megan doll. He would. He would bang that thing till he would rip the innards out of it. Then he'd want to send it back for a refund. I don't I never really I don't get it. But anyways, our boy Cyrax, he would too. He would too. The only difference is Cyrax can't can't afford that five six hundred dollars for that thing. He can't afford that. If Cyrax sees that damn thing, he's going to be he's going to be demanding Sally buy that for him. He will. I want that for Christmas. He'll be demanding that damn thing for Christmas. And somehow she will pull it off and get it for him. And he will do the most perverse things to that. Can you imagine what that poor doll would go through? The, that bastard would get that thing. He would do the... I mean, Chris Chan, he might take care of it because he collects crazy shit. Cyrax, he would just... Plonk the hell out of that thing in every every hole in it, every every imaginable way. He would. It's crazy, man. It's crazy world we're in. Crazy. Where are we at? Seventeen minutes. I don't know, man. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Picture Cyrax banging that thing. It's probably taller than he is. I don't know, four foot. He's probably about four eight. <laughs> so if it, if he is taller than it, not by much, you know, not by much. I'd like to see that thing come to life and beat the holy hell out of Cyrax. That would just be hilarious right there. I'd like to know the people that are buying this. Like I say, men that buy this, I give people the benefit of the doubt if they have like a lot of movie props, especially horror film props. You know, I would give them the benefit of the doubt as to why they would want that. But if it's some freak like Cyrax and you go in his bedroom, well, not his bedroom, his house, well, whatever. You go in there and he's got that. You know that poor doll has seen some messed up things. That doll is going to need counseling. <laughs> now, what about King Cobes, Cobra? I don't think he would want it. I don't think he'd buy it. But if somehow he had it, he would just leave it sitting in his corner. I don't think he'd do anything to it. I don't know, though. Not at least in front of the camera. <laughs> what do you think, though? Who else do you think would do it? Cyrax, Christian, King Cobra. I don't think Cobes would. Anyways, you know, Jessica would come in and see that doll there, and she'd get all jealous. She would get jealous of that doll. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. That's a nice-looking thing, I guess. I don't know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe. White Bowser. White Bowser would plow that. He would grope it. He would grope it. And when it wouldn't say no, it would be on. 
he, White Bowser would plow that thing. He would he'd knock a black hole into it, like in the center of the universe. It would be it would be on. He would rip that thing apart. I don't know though. He's probably only hung like that, so hard to say. But I'm out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Bowser is a predator. And we all hate, always hate Cyrax. Later.